So in this video, Switch and Click has challenged me to build a keyboard of AliExpress. Fashion boy, I challenge you to build the best keyboard you can from AliExpress. Okay, what's what's the budget? I vote for $100. Done, $100. So she has asked me to build a keyboard of AliExpress for only $100. But I'm going to one-up her. Now look, AliExpress is a place where you go to buy cheap stuff. So I'm going to be building the cheapest keyboard I can off AliExpress. Alright, so let's go get the parts. So I found all the parts on AliExpress. Now I know I could get a really cheap keyboard kit for 30 bucks and it comes with everything, but I wouldn't really call that a custom keyboard because that's more of just a kit. So I'm going to buy all the parts individually. First off, we have OEM stabilizers, which are PCB mounted for only $5. That's like the price of a Big Mac, that's pretty cheap. Normal D-Rock stabilizers are around 30 bucks, so this is pretty cheap. I also found their cheapest PCB, hot swappable and only $31.52. Now it does say hot swappable here, but later on we're gonna find out that it really isn't and Naive Squashy got scammed. But hey, it's still the cheapest PCB, so... We have a $9 plate, a $4.92 case. Now you see, I could get the case in black or white, but both the color variants are 6 cents more. So we can't actually get the colors and we have to go for the cheapest one. So transparent it is. Next up for the switches, same as the case, we could have gotten OEM red switches, which are only $1.56 per pack, but the OEM blue switches are a whole 5 cents cheaper. So we'll have to get them instead, because we are going for the cheapest keyboard. And as for the keycaps, I could get the cheapest keycaps at only $4.35. But if I want the slightest chance of winning Switch and Click, these keycaps aren't gonna do it. They kind of look like Barney or like some Teletubby. So I'm going to be breaking the only rule we have, getting the cheapest of everything and getting a nice $14 OEM Sakura keycaps. They look way better than whatever that thing is. And yeah, let's wait for the items to arrive. They arrived. So yeah, we start off with the PCB. So this is the GH60 PCB which they shipped to me and... What the hell? Bro, this is not even hot swap. This is just not hot swap, bro. I freaking got scammed. Next we have the stabilizers. Now before the video, I actually wholly modded the stabilizers. But I'll be lubing the stabilizers in video. So I'm actually using the lubing kit I got from Amazon from the previous video. I mean, it's pretty nice. And since these are snap-in stabilizers, I didn't need to screw them in. And with the stabilizers in, we move on to the switches. So these are the OEM switches that we bought. Mm, look at them clicks. And all these switches are going to go onto the aluminium plate that we bought. Although... They didn't send the aluminium plate. They didn't send the plate! They didn't send the bloody plate! It's not here! It says it's delivered, but it's not here! I got scammed again! Shit! <laughs> So without the plate, I couldn't just solder 5 switches onto the plate and hold the rest in place. And that means I need to find a way to flip it over without all the switches falling off. I first tried tape and it didn't work. But then I came up with this idea where I used the cardboard that I got the case in and flip it over. Which came to a really good success. Bro, let's go! Pretty genius man. Until it didn't. Oh no! Oh my god, no! <laughs> oh my god. And so I tried it again. Okay, let's go. Ah, yes! Oh, please wait! Oh. Good enough, good enough, that works. Okay, I'm gonna get the soldering iron. And so I quickly soldered everything to place and... Yes! I did it! They're on! They're stuck! But since I didn't have a plate, all the switches are misaligned because they were not 5-pin switches and there was nothing to align them. Here's that $5 case we bought. Looks pretty... $5. We slap that bad boy in. And here are those Sakura keycaps we bought. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, this is probably the worst keyboard I've ever built. All the keycaps are misaligned because there's no plate and the switches are just god-awful. So with the keyboard done, let's see what Switch & Click came up with. It's been three weeks, we've both, both built our keyboards, and we haven't seen what each other has made yet. Okay, so uh, going for the cheapest keyboard on the market. My keyboard's kind of small. It's a one key keyboard. It's, you know, it, it's tiny, but it's technically- Okay, I'm kidding. <laughs> I, I bought what it before. The My actual keyboard is uh, kind of- <laughs> It's kind of a disappointment. Is this? This is a very ordinary keyboard actually, it's just a GH60. The case is $4.92. I didn't cheap out on the keycaps actually because I didn't want Barney looking keycaps. For $1.56, I could have gotten red OEM switches. 
But that wasn't the cheapest on AliExpress because the cheapest, five cents cheaper at a dollar and 51 cents. So I had to get the blues. It's loud. It's really loud. <laughs> I'm gonna play it in three, two, one. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's not terrible. It's not that bad. I imagined worse. So without spoiling Switch and Click's video, which should be coming out in the near future, here's a short preview of what her keyboard looks like. Are you ready to see it? Sure. Oh, boom. Ew. I mean, that's nice. <laughs> Here we go in three, two, one, go. Well, I lost. <laughs> we don't even need a voting. We are sure I'm lost. I, I lost the moment I chose blue switches. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this keyboard. It's crap. Thank you so much for watching this video. Smash this video if you liked it. Like this video if you smashed it. And uh, if you stayed to the very end, comment down below. Good